what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here welcome i have a very important video for you guys today and that is on castor maritime ticker symbol ctrm this video has came highly and i mean highly requested from almost all of you guys in the comments section on my videos you guys really want to see a video on this company so here it is today we're going to go pretty in depth on the company themselves and why this might be a good buy for the long term they do have some potential catalysts coming up and also some big moves they have made recently so we're gonna go over all of that and more in today's video they are also down about 20 percent on the week so this could be a good time to buy in if you think this stock will go back up in the long term now before we get into that we do have to talk about the stock market as a whole because a lot of our favorite stocks on this channel right now are down which could represent good buying opportunities so as you can see stocks dropped a two-week low bond yields edge higher so obviously a lot of stocks in the market are down today now i will say I do think in the future, maybe even in the more near future, we do have to look for a more bigger stock market pullback and maybe even a stock market crash just because we are so due for one. So we do have to keep an eye out for that. And I would not be surprised to see a larger stock market pullback coming up in the future. Now, with that said, though, that does not mean to not invest. One of the best stock market strategies out there is to just consistently buy stocks, buy on high days, buy on low days, and just a dollar cost average in throughout years to get a good price as a whole instead of trying to buy the dips and selling the highs because ultimately most people are not successful with that strategy saying that though and with this dip we are seeing some big pullbacks on stocks like bio nanogenomics you guys leave a lot of comments on my videos about this company and we do talk about them a lot so if you guys have been looking to open up a position in this company they're down almost 10 percent on the day and this could be a buying opportunity the same goes with nano dimension they did have a very large direct offering within the last couple of days in addition to stocks being down today that has led to nano dimension being down about 12 percent over the last five days so once again if you've been looking to open up a position in nano dimension now might be the time to do so and lastly of course sensionics ticker symbol s-e-n-s -E you guys have been wanting to see an update on this video now there is not much new information out there but what I will tell you is my prediction for this company still stays the same. They have some big catalysts coming up with working on that 180 day system. They're already creating revenue. They have big revenue increases year over year. And I do ultimately like their product. So I can see this company being successful in the future. We are also up well over 100% on this stock, even with the slight pullback on the day. So if you guys want information like that, as soon as I release it, I post videos every single day on the hottest growth stocks in the market. All I ask is please hit that subscribe button and do me a favor and turn on your bell notifications so you guys can get updated every time I post a video. There's almost 8,000 of you now that have your bell notifications turned on. You guys know exactly how valuable that is. Moving on though, let's get right into the stock that you guys want to talk about and that is a Castor Maritime. And first, before we get into any potential catalyst before investing in a company, you have to understand what they do and ultimately if you believe in the company as a whole. So for that, we're going to jump over to their website site here and as you can see castor maritime is a growth oriented global shipping company that is engaged in the seaborne transportation of a wide range of dry bulk commodities along worldwide shipping routes through their ownership of dry bulk vessels and here you can see an example of one right here and so here you can see some highlights of them over time they were incorporated and took ownership of their first vessel in september of 2017 and have picked up a few more over the years and each time they pick up a new vessel this represents an opportunity to continue to grow their revenue over the years to come and that leads me to this right here so as you guys know or maybe you do not know castor maritime stock price has been soaring lately shooting up a lot and so just a thursday of last week the stock actually soared almost 50 percent after they came out with an important announcement and that announcement was that castor maritime agreed to buy two more tankers from an undisclosed seller for a total of 27.2 million dollars both of these ships are under time charter contracts for approximately one year in each of these vessels has a minimum gross daily hire rate of fifteen thousand dollars and an additional profit sharing arrangement they do expect to take delivery of these tankers in the first quarter of 2021 now this is important to note too obviously the cv over the last year has taken a big hit on the global economy as a whole and has also taken an especially big hit on the tanker market and as we're going to see a little later in the video castor has been declining revenue over the 
last few quarters just simply because of the situation in the world right now. But nevertheless, they've also been taking advantage of this situation by ultimately picking up more tankers while the market is down and while prices are cheaper. So this says investors should expect Castor to remain on the hunt for more deals. With significant capital on hand, we are actively continuing to look for further opportunities to diversify and grow our fleet with the addition of high quality tankers. So with that said, in addition to these two tankers that they just bought, the CEO says they are going to continue to look for more so they can further grow this business. And that is exactly what they are doing. As you can see, February 18th, this was announced today at 8.50 a.m., they announced another vessel acquisition. So Castor Maritime, a diversified global shipping company, announces that it has entered through a separate wholly owned subsidiary into an agreement to purchase a 2010 Korean built dry bulk carrier from an unaffiliated third third party for a purchase price of $14.8 million. And now this delivery is to be taken in the first quarter or beginning of the second quarter of this year and is obviously subject to the satisfaction of certain customary closing conditions. And so the CEO comes out and says, upon completion of all these recent announced acquisitions, which are including the three we just talked about and a few more months back, their fleet is now gonna consist of 12 vessels, which is doubling the size since the beginning of 2021. He also says they are working diligently to identify and take advantage of attractive opportunities presented to us across vessel sizes and segments. So these guys are making moves in times like these. They're acquiring vessels to ultimately help grow this business down the road. And that is one thing I really, really like about this company. Here's the thing. Obviously, buying all these vessels, they have doubled the amount in just 2021, is going to be a big initial investment. They're paying a lot of money for these vessels, and they're obviously going to have some debt. But nevertheless, the effects that this will have in the long term is going to be more substantial than anything. And that is with double the vessels, they are now essentially able to double the revenue that they are able to produce long term and so this is pretty much with anything in life big investments do have the possibility to lead to big returns you buy a multi-million dollar commercial real estate property you have the opportunity to earn a lot more revenue than you do if you buy a single family home for a few hundred thousand dollars and this is the same way. If they would have bought one vessel, they can create more revenue, but not as much as they can now that they have doubled their vessel fleet. And to me, this really presents a big opportunity for them in the long term. Also, it seems like every single time one of these vessel acquisition announcements is made, it acts as a big catalyst for the company and the stock price goes up. And that is exactly what we saw with this announcement just last week. They announced that they were buying two more tankers and their stock price soared almost 50% in one day. So I think if they continue to grow their fleet, we can continue seeing catalysts like this for the company. Now let's get into some finer details here and let's follow the money. What are the big institutions doing with this company? And so here are some of the most recent 13 G filings within 2021 and late 2020. As you can see, some big stakes in this company, CVI Investments with an almost 5% stake in the company just made on the 16th of February. Then we have Hudson Bay Capital, Intracoastal Capital, and Empiri Asset Management both taking almost 10% stakes in this company within the last month. So that is a very, very big stake in this company. As you can see, that's between 13 and 14 million shares of this stock. And if we scroll down further here, we can see even more action on this company. Highlighted in red is the companies that closed out of their positions and highlighted in green are the companies that opened new positions in this company. So if we start right here at 2021 and we scroll up, look at all the green here. Only two companies sold out and so many more companies are opening up and holding positions in Castor Maritime. So I do think from looking at institutional investors, this is a very positive thing for the company, seeing so many big institutions backing them and holding big percentages in this company. Next, before we get to a big catalyst coming up for this company, let's take a look at short interest because there could be potential for a short squeeze on this stock and some think that it already happened and that is why the big run-up happened. So there's a 30% short volume ratio here. We can see the short volume 45 million in the market volume 154 million which is definitely a pretty large short volume and could lead to a potential short squeeze like we have seen from many stocks in the recent months now although this could be big because it could make the stock price run up quite a bit personally i do not see short squeezes as a good thing for long-term investors 
because usually these squeezes do not last very long and the stock price ends up dumping. I would much rather see Castor continue to grow their company, continue to acquire new vessels and ultimately grow revenue and that could lead to us seeing a much more gradual increase in the stock price over time which I personally think would be a lot better for long-term investors. Nevertheless though for a play on the short term this short volume will be a big deal to you short-term investors. Now the big catalyst coming up for this company could be their earnings date. So it is estimated that CTRM's earnings will be on March 3rd 2021. Now this is obviously just an estimate and was developed from an algorithm based on the company's history. So do not expect it exactly on this date but somewhere around this date we could see an earnings report from Castor Maritime and I do think this is either going to be really good for the company or really bad depending on what we see. So looking at a little bit of history here from the recent quarters we can see Q4 2019 they did have a positive EPS but then in Q1 and Q2 of 2020 we were seeing a negative earnings per share and that was largely due to the CV and the effect that it had on not only the industry but the whole economy as a whole. We can also see the decline in revenue from the previous quarters so if we can see growing revenue and a positive earnings per share with Castor Maritime I think we can see the stock price shoot up just from that news alone that is going to be a huge deal that they are on the way back up and that revenue is growing again nevertheless though even if we don't get that big of an improvement any improvement will be positive to see and could have a positive effect on this stock price in the short term long term though yes it is obviously up to them to acquire more vessels and ultimately grow their revenue so what do you guys think about Castor Maritime ticker symbol CTRM you guys have been asking me to do a video on this company so many comments on almost all of my videos here it is now you guys have to let me know what you think about this company in the comments below I do think they have a great potential long term and they're already showing that by continuing to acquire more vessels so they can see increases in revenue over the next few years do you guys think this big rally over the last few months has been a pump and dump or do you think this stock has big potential for the long term? For me, I am going to pick up some shares on this dip and I'm going to see what this stock does long term. Now what's right for me is not always right for you, so I ask please do your own research. I'm not a financial advisor and this is absolutely not financial advice. I'm just sharing information with you guys so you guys can use it to your own investing advantage. Now with that said, that is all I have for today guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so you guys can stay updated on every single play. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some value from it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.